this will show you how to insert a reference from EndNote into Microsoft Word. Okay, now so I have an example research paper. Okay, and let's say this is my paragraph, and I want to insert a reference. Okay, now the first thing you need to do is you have to save your references into EndNote. Okay, and before you do that, you have to go to PubMed or whichever website you're using. Okay, let me go to PubMed. Okay, let's say PubMed. Okay, and that is PubMed. You type in your keywords and search the appropriate articles that you want for your research. Okay, let's say I'm going to do a research on low back, low back pain. Search and let's say you select a few of them. Okay, now you come over here to the send to and you save it as a file and you would have to select Medline and of course you will say create file as soon as you say create file you will have a security box and the file will be saved let me open the file okay and I'll just save it over on the on the desktop so I know where it is I can give it any name that you that I want Pub, okay, I'll say um, low back. Okay, I'll save it on the desktop. I'll say save. Let me close this. And then once you're done with saving your research uh, data or your research papers, you can just close this. You don't need this anymore. And next, what you have to do is you have to start up EndNote. Okay, that is EndNote. It doesn't matter which version you have. They're all the same, they are the same concept. Okay, now over here you will open a new file. You'll say file and new. Okay, give it any name. My EndNote library, that's fine. And I'm gonna open it in my documents. If you want, you can put it on the desktop. I'll say save, as soon as you say save, it'll open up some windows. Take a while, and there you go. Okay, I'll maximize this okay now we have to import the file that we saved so i'm going to say file how do you import okay so i'm going to say file i'm going to say import click on file and choose your file it was on the desktop and if i scroll down there it is click open and the filter will be other filters and i'm going to select pubmed pub press enter and I'm going to click on PubMed click on choose okay and this option is going to be import all I'm going to select discard duplicates and I'm going to say import okay now wait for a few seconds and your file should be here okay so these are your research papers that you had selected and saved into that into that file and now it's here okay now how do you insert let's say the first one I want to insert this one into Microsoft Word so I'm going to click on it first okay now I have selected this now go back to Word okay let's say I want to insert it right here okay then you go to the EndNote tab and then you will say insert citation and then the second one insert selected citation And automatically it will insert the citation okay okay now by default the style that you have selected is uh, that the style that comes by default is annotated and let's say I want to change it let's say I want to have numbered style okay it will automatically change it okay now let me say I want to have another reference right over here okay let me go back to EndNote okay I'm going to select this one the second one and I'm going to go back to Microsoft Word and I'm going to say insert select a citation now that's my second one and now I'm going to do my third one again click over here or anywhere you want let's say I want to do it right over here okay and go back to EndNote select the second one and then go back to Microsoft Word and do insert select a citation and now you have three references and three references over here and that's how you do it 
Okay, let me take that on a different paper, on a different sheet. I'll do a page break over here and I'll call this references so that all of your references are on a separate page. Now you can go anytime, let's say you don't want to use numbered style, you can go back over here and you can say author date style and automatically this will change over here and of course it will also reflect the changes over here. Go back and let's say Vancouver style. There you go, that's Vancouver style and there you go. Okay, it'll format and change the formatting in the whole document. That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you for watching the tutorial. Thank you.